I am so excited to be here today with my friend, Laura. I'm excited to team up with Brittany today and talk about lying and some things that you can try if you have a child or a teenager who struggles with lying. Number one, don't ask questions that you already know the answer to. So we don't color on the walls here. I'm gonna help you clean it up and I'll find a coloring book. We can use that, okay? Some kids may need help telling the truth too. So you can tell them that you will be there when the truth is told. Perhaps you can both speak or you can speak with the child there. You are not alone in this, okay? I am here and we're gonna do this together. And if you want me beside you when you tell Miss Morris tomorrow what happened, I will be there supporting you the whole way. Some kids may lie to get a reaction or a response out of you. And the best thing you can do is really try to keep a neutral face, have a neutral response and just listen. Okay, can you walk me through what happened? Okay. You can also try praising them when they tell the truth and thanking them for being truthful and honest and appreciating that they trusted you. Hey, I know it was not easy for you to tell me the truth about what happened at school today, but I want you to know how incredibly proud I am of your honesty, especially because it was so hard to tell. And I'm just so thankful that you decided to tell the truth. It's important to remember that we don't know everything this child has been through. So perhaps when they lied, they weren't believed, or maybe they lied to avoid being punished. And some kids don't know why they lie at all. It could just be a trauma response or perhaps even an undiagnosed disability. And sometimes it just takes time. It just takes modeling honesty and truth over time and having a safe space that kids can feel that it's okay to tell the truth. You know, I appreciate you telling me. I know that wasn't easy. And we'll figure this out together.